morning again, everyone. It's Bill McCarthy from Southwest Indian Foundation. Hope you're well wherever you are. The history of the Southwest is a very complex history. In any history, there's always going to be conflicts in, in cultures and, and, and peoples. In uh, 1620, uh, that was the uh, when the Mayflower arrived. Uh, Plymouth Rock and, and the pilgrim people that, that fled England uh, religious uh, persecution. That very same year, and very few people know about this, uh, there was uh, sightings of uh, the Lady in Blue. Uh, the Lady in Blue has uh, been mythologized and, and talked about, uh, certainly in our area, as perhaps a, a fable or a fairy tale. or And, and you could certainly uh, uh, scoff uh, at the whole idea of the Lady in Blue, but she was actually a person. Uh, and she actually came to uh, the Southwest and, and worked and lived at times within the Native American communities. Uh, her name was uh, Maria of Agrada. Um, or Agreda, as the, uh, as the Spaniards call her. And there are over 500 sightings, uh, documented sightings of her coming and working within, before, before the Franciscan missionaries, the Spaniards came up from, from the southern uh, part of the United States. We have a, a biography of uh, the mystical lady in blue, and, and her story is just absolutely fascinating and, and, and astounding. I, I can only just, just basically give the, uh, the tip of the iceberg. It was in one of her sightings uh, down in, in the land of the Pimas and the Papagos in, the, uh, in southern Arizona. Uh, it was remarked by a uh, Papago chief. Uh, she was of beauty like that of the full moon rising over quiet waters, and her tongue was like to the music of a mountain stream to the ears of a very thirsty man. This impact to, to the United States, and specifically her impact, and to us as a country and to our history is, uh, hasn't been properly acknowledged, and most people are not even aware of it and it's certainly worth an investigation. With that, um, hit the like, uh, subscribe, or, or make a comment, and uh, may you, like Maria Vagretta, always walk in beauty.